I am a fool. I have allowed myself to become a slave to anger. I will not allow my temper to fracture our resolve further. Surely you jest, Lord Fujin. Not at all, Liu Kang. Raiden's power makes you a fire god. Of course it does. Unfortunately, I cannot transfer my power to Liu Kang yet. First, I must free his Revenant from Quan Chi's curse. We will face the Revenant soon enough. What else can you tell us about the final battle? We must use every advantage. Enjoying your travels. You have already been defeated once, Kronika. Of course, Fujin. How else could you have escaped the void? If you know this, accept the inevitable. Surrender. But clearly my loss was not your victory, Raiden. If your future savior had gained full control of my hourglass, we would not be here. This timeline would no longer exist. I see no harm in confirming your suspicion. Even if you defeat me, what then? Who claims the hourglass? Surely you realize that Shang Tsung will break your alliance. We are prepared, Kronika. Are you? Have you wondered why Shang Tsung knows so much about my crown? Because he did your bidding, gathering souls to fuel it. Shang Tsung is far too modest. The crown is his design. No one, save me, knows more about its power. Had I told you we would still be marooned at the beginning of time bickering among ourselves? You must decide, Raiden. Who do you wish to keep time for all of creation? Me or Shang Tsung? Neither, Kronika. You will be beaten. And if Shang Tsung betrays us, we will finish him. You are a fool, Raiden. Do not condemn the realms to oblivion. <laughs>
Truly, my finest work. I will instruct you in its ways. What just happened? Kronika came here to retrieve the crown. We forced her to retreat. We must strike while she is weakened. Let us join the armies, massing at the Sea of Blood. Together we will storm Kronika's Isle and take command of the Hourglass. We will rendezvous at the Isle of Kronika. The fools believe victory is at hand. Their misplaced confidence will be their demise. Such a pity my daughter embraces their sentimental values. Having second thoughts in them. Hardly. Katana courts a peasant and obeys the Thunder God. She couldn't be a bigger disappointment. One can only imagine. The Isle. Do not be late. An eternal empire awaits you. Enter. Kitana Khan. Oh, don't be so formal, Mother. You are Khan Katana. Command the awe of your subjects, even me. Oh, I shall never tire of greeting you. Nor will I tire of calling on you. Our battalion is leaving for the Sea of Blood. Queen Shiva and the Shokan will follow his rear guard. May I request something? Mother, you don't have to... Make your request. Shiva. Queen Shiva. Risked everything to restore me. Honor demands that I accompany her into battle. Yes, it does. And that display of loyalty is sure to rally the Shokan spirits. Thank you, Kitana Khan. Chamber will heal your wounds. Then we'll discipline Katana and take back our throne. Empress? Tell me I misheard. Tell me you would not betray your daughter. She takes after her father, Shiva. Jared was a weak king. Katana is a weaker Khan. Weak? She defeated Shao Khan. Yet she lacked the resolve to kill him. Now she will learn. Enemies must be crushed, lest they rise again. That was true once, but now there is a better way to lead. Fight!
Elder gods tremble before me, Shiva. What hope did you have? <laughs> <laughs> 